If you go to the top of the FL Studio Reddit, you'll notice that there's a comprehensive list of shortcuts for FL Studio that improve your workflow. This video is going to go over some of them. If you hold Control and left click and start dragging, you can select notes. This saves you the trouble of having to go up to the select tool. If you hold Control and shift and click certain notes, you can deselect some of them. You can also hold Control and start from the keys and select a whole array of notes. Another thing you can do to save time is select certain notes and then hold shift and hit I and it'll inverse that selection, making it much easier to remove large amounts of notes when you want to keep only certain ones. These shortcuts also work in your playlist editor. Nice! If you select certain patterns that are touching and hit Ctrl G, it'll merge them together. You can also select a group of clips and hit Shift G to make them a group. Now when you go over them, it'll select all of the notes. If you reselect them and hit Alt G, it'll ungroup them. If there's a certain part of your section that you want to repeat, you can go ahead and select all of this right here by clicking the top with the select and dragging, and then hit Ctrl B in order to move it over again. It'll copy everything over the exact amount that you have selected here. That being said, if you'd like a certain clip to be repeated a certain distance throughout your song, you can go ahead up here and select the distance that you want, select the clip, and start hitting Ctrl B over and over again. And it'll start moving it the exact distance that you want. Notice that this is very, very sensitive to whatever distance you have selected. So if you select a clip and then move it over, it'll only be the distance that that clip exists. It'll be the start and end point of whatever it is that you have selected. Keep that in mind if there's a little bit of space or things are not exactly on the grid because it can make things misaligned if you're not careful. That's why I always suggest making a loop up top whenever you want to move something over. Control B also works in the piano roll. If you'd like to move a section of your song over and create blank space, select it up here and then hold Control and hit insert. It'll make a blank space depending on how big your selection was. If you hold shift while moving something, it'll keep its horizontal orientation no matter how much you move your mouse up and down. If you hold control, it'll keep its vertical orientation no matter how much you move your mouse left to right. If you select notes and hit control and the up or down key, it'll move the notes an entire octave. If you hold shift instead, it'll move them a single semitone. If you select something and hold shift and move the mouse wheel, it'll move it in increments that are not affected by the grid. This is the dumbest thing to ever exist in FL Studio history, and I hate it very much. If you want to quickly make notes of certain length, you can hold shift, click, and then start dragging the note length that you would like. This makes it really easy to get certain note lengths without having to worry about clicking them to get the right note length. If you'd like to change chord lengths without changing every individual note, you can select the chords that you want to move, hold shift, and it'll start moving the notes from a certain point. In the playlist, control and mouse wheel moves along the x-axis. Alt and the mouse wheel move along the y-axis. You can also click your mouse wheel twice. This allows you to move along the grid by moving your mouse left and right, and then up and down resizes it on the x-axis. If you click your middle mouse three times in quick succession, you can move it up and down to resize your y-axis. Holding control and dragging your right mouse button will make a selection. If you let go of right click, it'll zoom in on whatever you had selected. If you hold control and just click right click, it'll zoom out as far as it can. Holding control, shift, and right clicking will zoom in on a single element. You can also hold down mouse wheel to look around quite freely. Pressing tab scrolls through all of your available windows. I don't really know how this is useful, but if you have too much stuff up and you want to close it all, you can press F12. Hooray! If you select a plugin made by FL Studio and hit enter, it'll make it full screen. Holding Alt and right click lets you independently listen to sections. This also works in the playlist. Selecting the slice tool and holding shift allows you to move it on the horizontal axis cleanly. Bam! If you hold right click instead, the smallest portion of the cut will be deleted. In the playlist, holding shift and M turns on and off stretch mode. Stretch mode off, stretch mode on. If you have typing keyboard to piano keyboard off, you can switch between the priorities of your audio clips, automation clips, and pattern clips using your M key. If this is on, it just plays a note. If 
you'd like to copy over an automation clip to another automation clip, you can double click it, left click this wrench and click copy state. Why are you there? Then you can double click the new automation, click here and paste it. If you go up here and select a grid, you can hit shift Q and it'll align everything to that grid. Clean. If you'd like to copy all the notes of a piano roll quickly over to another instrument, you can click this little square right here, hit Ctrl C, click a new square, and hit Ctrl V, and it'll paste the piano roll over. Really easy for getting big chord stacks. If you hold shift, you can select multiple channels, come up here, and transpose them a certain way. Here, you can type plus in a value or minus in a value, and it'll change the semitones accordingly. Very good for transposing multiple chords at once without having to go into each and every individual piano roll. If you'd like to quickly clone a channel, man is that a mouthful, you can just click right here and hit Alt and C. If you'd like to reposition where a channel is, you can just hit Alt and hit up and down on the arrow keys. If you want to quickly get around your DAW, you can hit F5 to open up the playlist. F6 opens up your step sequencer, or the channel rack as it's called. F7 opens up your piano roll. F8 opens and closes your plug-in picker, and then F9 opens up your mixer. If you go inside your piano roll in a certain pattern and hit Alt and V, you'll see notes from other channels in that same exact pattern. If you hit Control Alt and V, it'll make it so you can edit those notes without having to go to that instrument. If you double right click on a ghost note, it'll switch over to that instrument. If you select a channel that isn't assigned to a mixer and hit Control L, it'll move it to an unused mixer channel. If you'd like to make a certain channel assigned to a certain bus, you can select it right here, go into your mixer, select the channel you want, and hit Ctrl L. It'll copy over all of the details of that channel, such as the color and the name. If you select a mixer channel and hit Alt L, it'll show you inside the channel rack which channels are assigned to it. You can quickly clone plugins from one channel to another by right clicking, going into File, and dragging from Save Mixer Track State As to another channel. Now all of the plugins from here are transferred over to here. You can also select a plugin, go into settings right here, click the save preset as and drag it into either a channel right here or onto a new mixer bus and it'll create a copy of it. Neato. Also, if you change knobs on accident in FL Studio from their default position, you can hold alt and click them and it'll move them back to their default position. Alright, that concludes all the shortcuts I'm going to show you today. If you learned something new, go ahead and like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have any feedback, because I read all of them. Other than that, I hope you have a fantastic day.